when you first walked into this building, June 1964, what did that feel like? This is, uh, this is my first trip living, uh, being outside of Norfolk. I had been uh, just strictly a Virginian, you know? Was it intimidating to you? Not really, you know. I had, by this time, I'm, I'm a seasoned, I was, I was a seasoned veteran. I had been recording with Gary U.S. Bonds in 1961. We had the number one record in the country, it's quarter to three. And then I had recorded for Ahmed Erdogan and Jerry Ressler in, in New York with Chuck Willis, C.C. Ryder. Been a, been a military veteran, except too, you know. Mm -hmm. I was a, a veteran of the United States Army Air Force. And I, I had graduated from uh, West Virginia State College, so I had been in the, the band there and it was a music major, so. I was a bold character. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about today when you're back here at Chess in this building, in this studio? Well, I think about the history. I think about all of the people uh, that came through this place. I don't think there would have been a Motown had it not been Chess. There wouldn't have been, you know. There wouldn't have been a WVOM, a lot of the Media guys like Earl Calloway and the guys of the Defender and all these people tied in with chess. Uh, Leonard became, was a big member of the uh, Urban League and he contributed to the NAACP and he would put a trailer out in the Lake Meadows area and then the far south side in Cottage Grove and they would do this uh, marathon broadcast in this trailer once a year to raise money money and attention towards the black experience uh, in Chicago. And he did a lot of things. 